American mixed martial artist Iron Michael Chandler may be a brand new face to the UFC, but he is anything but new to the sport of MMA. With a long and illustrious career in Strike Force and especially Bellator, Chandler brings a reputation for speed, accuracy, instinct, and power to this new chapter of his career, along with plenty of adoring fans who want to see him thrive in this new organization. He is a three-time Bellator lightweight title holder with a fantastic professional record of 22-5 and, and plenty of savage moments under his belt. As he approaches his first shot at the UFC lightweight championship, it seems a perfect time to delve into his career thus far and bring some of those savage moments to light. Like, share, and subscribe to the Ultimate Fighting Network as we explore some of Michael Chandler's most savage moments in his MMA career. Michael Chandler had enjoyed a three-fight winning streak at the very start of his professional career by the time he signed with Bellator in 2010. His debut fight against Scott Stapp was a perfect opportunity to prove what he could do in the cage, and he did so in spades. Chandler has a very adaptable fighting style, with a firm foundation in wrestling but an equally powerful right hand. In his ground game, he mixes submission attempts with ground and pound in a unique and subtle way, and his stand-up striking is both powerful and accurate. All of this was in full display in his debut, when the fight went to the ground in round one and Chandler pummeled Stapp mercilessly until the referee stopped the fight a meaningful first act in a long career. Unload, I think he's gonna look for the stoppage right here. I'm gonna stop it. You hear Herzog say he's gonna stop it. Scott Stapp needs to do something here. Butter, you gotta go. Unanswered shots. That's it, that's it. There's the stoppage. Despite his reputation as a wrestler, Chandler has a diversity of skills. Thanks to his athleticism and his instinct for feeling out his opponents and finding their weaknesses. During his first lightweight championship run in Bellator, Chandler defended his title against David Rickles in 2013. In an explosive first round, Chandler rocked Rickles early and, like a shark smelling blood in the water, pursued him to the ground, where he knocked him out with his signature ground and pound. He would not hold that title forever, but it definitely wouldn't be taken from him that day. A lot of head movement early from the champion Michael Chandler. Snapping that jab. Counter left, good right, just dropped. Rickles and Oakland are trembling, that is it! A lightning strike title defense for Michael Chandler! The UFC doesn't have the market cornered on long-term rivalries. In Bellator's lightweight division, the battles between Michael Chandler and Eddie Alvarez would become legendary and were largely respectful to boot. In 2011, Eddie Alvarez was the Bellator lightweight title holder, and their first match would turn out to be a watershed in Chandler's career. The fight was not quick or easy, spanning four vicious and bloody rounds. But in the end, Chandler was given his opportunity. Taking the fight to the ground, he weakened Alvarez with his signature ground and pound while looking for the submission, a rear naked choke. It proved effective, and the lightweight title was his. Big right hand by Chandler, his best punch since round one, in the left. Oh, another big right hand, he's hurt! He's hurt badly! Chandler now passing. He's mounted right now. Now giving up his back! Chandler will get the choke! There's the Thanks for watching this far. Please help support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We appreciate you. Not all of Chandler's fights are won on the ground. Because of his power and accuracy, as well as his ability to switch up his style when needed, he can use his hands to deadly effect, as Patricky Freire found out in 2016. Chandler had faced Freire before back in 2011 and had won by decision. But with time had come a maturing of Chandler's skills. And by 2016, when the lightweight title was vacant once again, he was ready to reclaim his championship. The fight never got out of round one. 
Chandler struck Freire on the chin, knocking him out cold and making Chandler the lightweight champion for the second time in his career. The cheeky pitbull, more powerful, more naturally heavy-handed. That's the difference in their striking styles. Before his move to the UFC, Chandler was defeated and lost his third lightweight title run in 2019. But that doesn't mean his skills dwindled. Later that same year, he was meant to rematch with Benson Henderson, but Henderson had to pull out due to an injury. Instead, Chandler faced replacement Sidney Outlaw in a catchweight bout in Saitama, Japan. And he didn't mess around. Like he had done so many times before, Chandler hit Outlaw with his rough and powerful right hand, a nearly instant KO, then jumped up onto the cage to salute the crowd. Not only was this yet another impressive example of Chandler's athleticism, but it was also a record for Bellator. Chandler had become the fighter with the most stoppage wins in Bellator history at 12. Due to his fearsome reputation, Chandler has already made a splash at the UFC. He was meant to be a replacement in Habib Nurmagomedov's final retirement match against Justin Gaethje. But in the end, the replacement was not necessary. Instead, Chandler's first fight in the organization was against New Zealand fighter and relative UFC veteran Dan Hooker in early 2021. Likely eager to bring his new skills to a more international stage with the UFC, Chandler let Hooker circle him for a while in the first round fielding low calf kicks and biding his time before he found his opening. In what would be a familiar pattern of movement to his fans, Chandler brought Hooker to the ground with a powerful strike and then proceeded to ground and pound him until the referee stopped the fight. Chandler had made his statement. He was officially part of the UFC's stable of talent now and a contender for the vacant lightweight championship. Look at the immediate... Oh! oh! Big knockdown oh! for Michael Chandler! Holy Big right smoke. hand, Dan's hurt. Oh, oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. It's over. Michael wow. Chandler maximizes... Whoa. The UFC lightweight title stands vacant for now, circled by lots of incredibly skilled athletes. Michael Chandler brings power, athleticism, and intensity to the lightweight division a division already packed with amazing talent. Can he win and hold the title that he had held three times in Bellator? Can he topple some of the UFC's biggest names? Only time will tell how many more savage moments we can come to expect from UFC newcomer and MMA veteran Iron Michael Chandler. What's your favorite savage moment from Michael Chandler's career? Do you have a favorite we didn't mention? Comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the Ultimate Fighting Network.